Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a home haul. I am actually renovating my guest bedroom right now. So I did pick up some things to share with you guys for the room. I'm actually gonna be doing a room renovation reveal for every room in my house this year, which I'm so excited about. You guys have no idea. We are so busy right now. We have projects in literally every single room going on which is crazy, don't recommend that, but it's just the way that it happened for us and it is what it is. Um, but I definitely am very excited to get a room like completed and be able to share with you guys and just see my vision finally come together. So those will be coming soon and I have tons of them to share with you guys this year, which is very exciting. But today I wanted to share some of the items that I've been picking up for the guest bedroom, just the smaller items, um, like not the fixtures and things like that. You guys will see that in that video. Um, but then I just also have a few like miscellaneous things that I want to share with you guys too. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with some kitchen items today because I do have a few things for the kitchen. So the first thing that I picked up during the holidays were these wine glasses and you guys know I'm all about the understated statements and that's exactly what these are. They're just like clear wine glasses and just by looking at them probably from afar but when you get up close to them there's like a bunch of broken glass at the bottom. It just looks so beautiful once you have like a beverage in here and especially if you have like candles going it just reflects so beautifully so these are definitely my cup of tea or my cup of wine <laughs> I'm not too much of a drinker um, but I definitely do want to pick these up for the holidays and I think they're so pretty and I got these at Pier 1 and these were $6.95 but I believe that I got them like 20 or 30% off so not bad and they're pretty like heavy and substantial so I love these the next two things that I picked up are actually from home goods go figure I basically live there if I don't go there once a week employees probably think that I'm like something's definitely wrong with me because I'm literally in there once a week um, if not more but I picked up the measuring cups right here and I also picked up the matching measuring spoons I've really been in need of some new ones and originally I really wanted some that you could just like stack up that are kind of like bowls um, but I couldn't find them anywhere but I did find these and the thing that I love about these is that they're not connected and you can stack them which I know just probably sounds crazy like I'm so picky about my measuring cups but honestly when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and you only need like a half a cup and you have to undo the whole thing just to get the half a cup or you have to wash the entire thing it's really annoying so I love that these are individual and I can just stack them up I also think they're super pretty the base right here is copper and then the handles are more like a classic kind of feel with black and white and I just think the color combination together is super pretty so I did get lucky on these and I found a matching set because you can't always find that at home goods but they did have them together and the measuring cups were $12.99 and and the measuring spoons were $5.99 which I thought was a pretty good deal and the brand is Masterclass Bake Shop they also had some red and white handles and then silver um, like cups which I think would be really cute for the holidays if you're looking for like a festive pair or if just you know red and white is your thing those were really cute too but you guys know I'm all about black and white and I love the little copper accent so I'm really excited to have those in my new kitchen that you guys will be seeing really soon too this next thing is probably like the most exciting thing that I picked up it's so simple and I'm just absolutely in love with it I've talked about the designer Cheryl Eisen here on my channel before huge fan of hers I just think she has a really great eye for design and I saw one of her designs in a living room and she had had something very similar to this it was basically like an acrylic um, coffee table book holder and I tried to find one online for the longest time I finally came across one and it was like $90 and I was like I don't know if I can spend that much on just an acrylic book holder but I probably could because it was really cute but in the meantime of me trying to convince myself to purchase that I was in Michaels and I came across this little um, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a diploma holder or a frame holder but I thought it would make a perfect book holder like I have right here this is just a book from my wedding um, with some wedding photos in it that I think is really cute with that picture on it a bouquet right there which I loved and I just think that picture is so cute so I have that on my coffee table but it could hold a bigger book as well so this is what it looks like it's super dirty right now from me putting my makeup fingers all over it and this was actually only like ten dollars so a big price difference from the ninety dollar one that I found online and I feel like it looks really awesome 
on my coffee table. I actually have an ottoman, not an actual like coffee table, but I still feel like it looks really, really good. And the thing that I actually like about this one more than the one that Cheryl Eisen had is that it almost looks like a piece of art because this kind of looks like a sculpture when it's, you know, like on my ottoman. And it's kind of like a two in one because it also holds, you know, your coffee table books. And the way she actually had it, which I love, was she had it like that with a book in it open and I just think that that is the coolest idea and it looks really cool too. Especially if you're gonna be having guests over, they feel a little bit more, I guess, inclined to go look at it if it's already open. And it's also just a really great conversation starter. So I was so happy that I found this. I had to share it with you guys. Tim actually thinks it's really cool too. He thinks it looks like really architectural and stuff. So it's a win-win for our house. I also picked up this piece for our master bedroom and I actually am not a huge fan of fake florals whatsoever I just I prefer to have real flowers in my house and I'm a huge fan of getting real flowers every single week I've talked about it here on my channel I like the queen of clearance flowers at my local Kroger's they mark them down every single night um, at like midnight for like a dollar or two dollars and I always go in there and snag them up and they're so fresh and beautiful so I love having fresh flowers in my house but for some reason I cannot get flowers to stay alive in my bedroom I don't know if it's something to do with like the temperature regulation through the house or the light coming in the room but I just cannot keep flowers alive in my bedroom and I obviously like the look of flowers in the bedroom I just like that added just like the feel of life in the bedroom, you know what I mean? So I came across this at Home Goods, and I fell in love with the um, the base of it, like the base of it. I just think it's so elegant and beautiful. So I went ahead and picked it up, and I feel like the flowers in here actually don't look fake either, like super, super fake, where you would be like, oh, those are fake. Like in real life, like when they're in my bedroom, you really can't tell they're fake. They actually look pretty real. And again, they just give like a really beautiful, like simple elegance to the room that I absolutely love. And I think this was only like $12.99, I'm thinking, which is really not a bad price for a little floral arrangement that actually looks real um, because you don't have to repurchase it. You have this forever. So I'm very happy with this. I cannot wait to show you guys my bedroom as well. My new bed is amazing. Amazing. I'm so happy. It's my dream bed. I got it for a really, really great price. And I will be showing you guys my bedroom as soon as I get that done. We have so many projects going on in every single room. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. We are so busy right now that my mind could just be like, ah! but I'm trying to stay really organized and just get some stuff done because I'm ready to have a room completed. So I'm going to be having so many home videos on my channel this year that I am thrilled, literally thrilled to share with you guys um, because I'm ready to get these rooms done. <laughs> so of course I do have some pillows to show you guys because what kind of a home decor haul would it be with me without showing you guys some pillows. So these first ones are actually, or both of them are actually going to be going in my guest bedroom. And I did pick up two of each of them. I just brought one of each in here because it would get a little too crowded to show you both of them, but they're the exact same. So the first ones are these dark gray ones and this is actually the back side of it and this is the front side of it and while I think the front side is very pretty it's just not technically like the look that I'm going for in the spare bedroom so I'm actually going to be using it on this side and this side is just a really pretty kind of like medium gray kind of a um I don't know what would you call this it's not velvet kind of more of like a almost kind of like a suede material I know you're probably thinking like why didn't you just buy like a solid like gray if you weren't gonna use the other side but to be honest it was super hard to find a pillow that was just gray like this tone of gray which is what I was looking for so that's why I bought this These were $16.99 and it's just a really great quality pillow um, it's just very is very well made and again $16.99 isn't the best price for a pillow but it's not the worst price either because pillows are actually super expensive um, so I did pick up two of these you'll see them in the guest bedroom and then the other two that I picked up are this light kind of velvety material gray and I actually got these in a pack of two for $20, which was definitely a steal. I will say these aren't as well made as the other ones, like the darker gray ones that I just showed you, but still two for 20, I really couldn't pass it up just for like what I needed it for, just a standard, you know, 
just the standard accent pillow. The actual like quality on the outside is nice, just the filling on the inside, which I feel like could make a total like make or break in a pillow, isn't the greatest. So would I recommend these, honestly? But again, for $20 for two of them, I really just couldn't pass them up because it was the exact grade that I needed for the space. So I did go ahead and pick up two of these. And again, these are going in the guest bedroom. So I'm very excited to share with you guys what I have in mind. And another thing that I actually picked up for the guest bedroom is this beautiful fur throw. I have it folded over twice um, because that's how I'm going to have it on the guest bedroom bed. But it is the most beautiful fur. It almost looks like feathers running through it. It gives a very masculine feel to the room, but still very feminine too because the actual like fur on it is very wispy and it just gives a really cool vibe to the room. I really wanted to incorporate some darker colors in the guest bedroom and just give a more, I don't know, like rich luxe fill in there because I do have a lot of white going on in there too because the comforter is actually gonna be white, the curtains are gonna be white, um, the headboard's gray, and then I just have some, you know, obviously like gray accents. But if you look at the base of this, it is more of like a creamy white. So it's just gonna look so cool. I can't wait to show you guys, but I cannot believe that I found this at home goods I was so excited this was $50 it is really good quality so I was really excited about this and it just looks so perfect in the room like I could not have got anything better for this space it looks so good so the last thing that I want to share with you guys I actually got for the guest bedroom as well but I'm not going to be using it in there now with the fabric on this is just too clashy with the pillows and it's just too much heavy fabric in like a kind of suede velvet material so it's just too much for the space but they were really cute so I wanted to mention them to you guys I was just about to call these garden stools but they're not like ceramic or porcelain or anything so I would just say that these are kind of like little mini ottomans um, but they're stools like you can sit on them my original idea was to put them at the end of the bed there's just not enough room I have two of them and I was gonna actually put them under the window but again the fabric just clashes a little too much for the space but I do think they are so cute it's the perfect shade of gray I love the tufting on it you guys know I'm a fan of tufting um, I have a tufted bed in my bedroom the guest bedroom has a tufted bed and my ottoman in my living room is tufted so I guess you would say I'm definitely a fan of tufted things so I just think those are so cute and they are at home goods for $49.99 which is a great deal for something that is tufted so that is everything that I want to share with you guys for this haul um, I do plan on doing more as I get more stuff um, so let me know if you guys like these by giving the video a thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already you don't miss out on my future home videos and my renovation reveals because um, I'm very excited to share them with you guys so they're gonna be really good and I think you guys will really love the before and after because there's such a big difference so make sure you're subscribed for those and also my beauty and other lifestyle videos that I have here on my channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys